Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are Halloween hunting at Walmart. Tis the year 2024 and check out this ginormous Halloween insignia on top of all of the Halloween candy that people are buying. And it's almost all sold out and we have just a couple of weeks to go until Halloween. Well, depending when you're watching this video. For 98 cents, there is this glow mask and I'm trying to figure out how it works because when you look in the bag, so there's this jack-o-lantern, there are two glow sticks that you're supposed to, I guess, break so that they activate themselves, turn them around, make them look like eyes, and then attach them to the mask. But it was quite complicated, the explanation. But I thought 98 cents, not a bad price, but it does look tiny. And I have a big head, so I didn't want to risk it. The glow bug for 98 cents at this Walmart. I haven't seen this one before. One light stick one plastic casing so i guess you activate the glow stick by breaking it and then you put it inside of the spider case and then the spider glows kind of interesting but then you know once they're like activated and they stop glowing it's over so i don't know how they look after they're not active anymore like is this a prop you throw away or do you keep it for later didn't want to risk it look at the halloween trick-or-treat bucket with ghosts and then an alien <laughs> it's a cemetery but then there's an alien for a dollar 14 interesting that they cost less than the jack-o-lantern pumpkin pills that are almost two dollars not a big difference but bart simpson snuck in from jack's toys from the toy department into the halloween section he's like yeah baby <laughs> I will never sneak out again. Write that on the blackboard a thousand times, Bart, at the opening of the next episode. Oh, and off he goes into his pumpkin pail. Well, pumpkin pail. Pail with a pumpkin on it. So the blow mold round-shaped jack-o'-lanterns, which a lot of people don't like at Walmart. I love them. Those are a dollar like ninety-eight. And these others were a little bit cheaper. Fifty white spider webs. Uh, it was just too high. I didn't want to look into the box because I was wondering how they were packaged because there's like that jack-o'-lantern printed on the side of the box so i was curious but not you know curious enough to risk my neck jumping up to grab that box here we go as i discover something that i haven't seen before these little creatures not teddy bears but daddy bears by the way it's all a mess here they're not 1944 uh, because everything is like shifted around drips 12 inch 14 no this is also not the right price everything was a mess at walmart the day i was there this is doodle bear because he's all doodled on so cute they're dead cute it says um and they come in little coffins how adorable are they so everything was a mess at walmart like almost nothing was placed on shelves that actually had the correct pricing sticker attached to the shelf so it's all a mess. I have no clue how much these cost. But you have Dr. Beargrave, Gutsy Bear, Skidmark, <laughs> and Drips. And then you have the uh, the one we just saw now. What's it called? The Doodle Bear. So there's five of these Daddy Bears. Uh, love the design. Love kind of the artwork on the coffins. <laughs> the Doodle Bear is so funny. <laughs> they all look unfortunate. Well, because, you know, they've passed away. Uh, one was, <laughs> one got hit by a car. The other one got, I don't know, a kid doodled over it until it was over. But Dr. Uh, Beargrave, I mean, he's like the zombie with like his brains popping out. Super cute. Then we find the set of mugs. We've seen sets of mugs at Walmart before. Also at Marshall's and uh, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, by the way. <laughs> This one, though, love the face. <laughs> he looks so unfortunate. No, this is a nasty one. Love him. Um, by the way, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thumb up this video. Thank you so much. It really means the world to me. And it helps the channel a ton. I'm posting a video a day in this Halloween season as we're counting down to Halloween. So a lot of work and love goes into this channel. So thank you so much for the support, everybody. So this stack of like mugs for $9.96, yeah, okay, this price was correct, but that's because that sticker is not a sticker. That's a digital price tag, which by the way, they can change the price at any given moment. Super scary in a way. So then there's like a set of four mugs with skull, like skeleton arms. 
making signs. What was really scary to me later, um, well, we're going to get to a couple of items that I purchased in this uh, vlog while I was at Walmart. And um, I realized with a lot of the ceramics, once I came home, oh, this one, I, I got this at another Walmart, the the um the wolf the happy halloween i didn't get the spooky vibes hand i didn't like the smell of it It smells like yeah baked pear bourbon baked pear mm. apple pumpkin was better so the werewolf i keep saying this it's it's so much underappreciated the werewolf is underrepresented this year i feel like there's not enough werewolf props this year for halloween even less so for zombies absolutely no banshees so i did get that candle um, but I did realize that the ceramics have the Walmart ceramics, like the Walmart branded celebrate ceramics have a text in the back that says like, oh, this item may contain lead here. This is what I got. The ceramic salt and pepper set. Love the fact that one pumpkin is tall. One is short. They're so cute. You guys, I bought them. I was super happy. They were like $3.50 little ceramics look at the back this product can expose you to chemicals including lead which is known to the state of california to cause cancer issues with birth and blah 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 and now i'm like scared to use them for salt and pepper and i don't know if this is just walmart printing this to save their butts in case somebody does get sick or something oh here are kind of the remnants the last cereals i found frankenberry and booberry i got three booberries one frankenberry um there were a few other boxes left but they were so busted carmella creeper there was a ton of carmella creeper left but like nobody wants carmella creeper i wonder why i mean the flavor isn't the best but i guess frankenberry and chocula there was absolutely no chocula there are the most kind of favorite ones chocula because it's chocolate flavored too but then also the design of that Dracula is so cool. So basically, General Mills makes the, this Halloween vintage cereal only now during Halloween. And once it's sold out, it's gone until next year. So I try to stock up as much as I can and have it last me until as much as it can last me until next year. <laughs> uh, they do expire in June. The cereal expires in June. So and I didn't buy much. I only have like five boxes, I think, altogether between my stash I got last time and this time. So it's just for a couple of months, like, you know, to get me through the depression era of post-Halloween. I can still eat Halloween food after Halloween is over. You know, it helps me fade out from my sadness that Halloween is over. So this is why I'm also like holding on to it as long as I can, going as almost every day if I can to, to shops to check out Halloween stuff, just to film it and celebrate the abundance of Halloween. I got these little teeth, party favors, 12 glow-in-the-dark Dracula teeth for 98 cents. It's a classic. Of course, you got to get these, but uh, glow-in-the-dark. And I thought to myself, how are they going to glow-in-the-dark in your mouth? It's a bit gross. And who knows, possibly also toxic. Everything I say in this video is for entertainment purposes only, not rooted in truths or facts. Everything's alleged and just my opinion. But, you know, we'll go, we'll go. I also got the salt and pepper shaker skull version. Because everybody always says, like, oh, you know, the black skulls are all year round. The jack-o'-lanterns are just for Halloween. That's just horse ditty. No. Uh, the jack-o'-lanterns are all year round, just as the skulls are. Ceramic salt and pepper set. So... Same with these little fellas, you know, the back of the box states, yeah, might contain lead and other chemicals known to, you know, cause cancer. I'm like, oh, no, how am I going to use them now? I'm scared to use them. I know that you can like buy these sets or kits off Amazon or somewhere where you can like test if the ceramic or plastic, whatever item you bought has lead in it. I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of scared to even test it out. I don't know. I'm such a scaredy cat this year. It's 2024, you guys. It's it's the year to be scared. What can I tell you? And then these plastic disco ball looking jack-o'-lantern sippy cups. Meh. Dia de los Muertos. A set of plastic mugs. Orange and pink with a green skull and I think a yellow skull. 447 for the party wear. Here I'm trying to avoid filming too many people because I'm very respectful of other people's privacy. That's why sometimes you see me veer my camera like it were um, a roller coaster. 
love the ceiling of this Walmart. Look how much space they have on top of there. And then <laughs> that skeleton, though, it's like it escaped and it's kind of floating in the in the air. So Walmart is emptying, you guys. I mean, it's sure they have a ton of these little lights that light up for six ninety eight. The LED lights. They have like those general Halloween decor items, but they're running out of the specific special like seasonal featured items that are more whimsical. Like those are kind of, well, running out. So we still have some candles left. You know, you got the the light up things, like those lights, like the things that are not too special. Now, that's not the price of the candles. Again, it's all priced wrongly. So I don't know how much the candles were. Cranberry Mandarin. I'm thinking how that's going to smell. I don't know. Oh, the ceramic spoon rest in black. So they have the skull spoon rest to match the salt and pepper shaker. Again, the lead warning. Uh, later on, I, well, let's see what else I find from this ceramic spoon rest. I wouldn't use it to rest a spoon, although the spoon rests have been so popular this year. I would just leave it next to the door and put trinkets in it, like keys, you know, car keys, whatever you need to put on it kind of holds stuff like trinket holder that's what i would use it for not really for a spoon rest especially if it has lead on it putting on a, a spoon that you're cooking with no on top of that no uh outdoor use lighted length what is this thing oh these are little tiny stakes little three ghosts halloween led ghost path markers a set of three and then they have the jack-o-lantern version as well and the jack-o'-lanterns, yeah, all three have the same facial expression. And the hat is also the same. Yeah, okay, so it's a set of three. And the price is $7.48. Pumpkin path markers. Best for driveways, they say. Is that so? More LED lights. We've seen this in another video from Walmart that I filmed a while ago. LED skull path markers. It doesn't work. The try me button doesn't work because... After so much time has passed, 1897 for that, you know, these little try me batteries are empty, you know, because this little thing has been standing there already for over a month or two months. So slowly but surely, even the little test buttons stop working, which is another indicator, unfortunately, that, you know, Halloween is nigh. And um, but you can see, although, I mean, they have a ton of masks and all of this, like kind of decor, like what to wear Halloween wolf kit, for example, for 898. Now, usually that's how it goes. Like what sells out first are the ho home decor, like house decor items, the more whimsical ones, the special ones that they've just released this year that are not like repeats from last year. Those sell out first. And then slowly like the candy sells out. And then the last that sells out are the masks and costumes because that's what people buy like last minute. So that's why that's usually still stocked until very late in the game very late in October. The eyeballs are still $20. I, I think that's too expensive. I think these this bag of eyeballs should be 10 bucks tops for eight eyeballs. $10 and okay. And in fact, nobody's buying them. 20 bucks is way too expensive for this. They have boxes full of these. And then there they had this set where they decorated the kind of top of their shelving so nobody can reach this really they've decorated with a ton of those blow mold jack-o-lantern pumpkin pails that i love so much my favorite ones uh, from walmart and they sold out of all of them on the sales floor but they still have some for decoration purposes up there which all have a price tag by the way so if you're tall enough <laughs> to grab those you can actually buy them but nobody can grab them they're way too far way too far up but i stocked up on a bunch of those last year so i'm good i didn't buy any new ones this year from Walmart, but they're really, really great. They're made in Mexico, and I don't know, there's just such a good vibe about them. I don't know why people don't like these. I think they're awesome. And then these little blow-up creatures poking out of the pumpkin and hiding again. This was all on top of a bookshelf. Then we have a zombie baby. Uh, one piece blow-up a zombie baby. The purple is gorgeous with the pink brains popping out. No price. I have no clue. Three feet tall. Uh, I I don't I no that's not the price because this is a glow in the dark stretch stretchy web for three dollars and then three ninety seven is the glow in the dark deco spray. You shake it, you spray, it glows in the dark. 
How toxic is this? I don't know, and I don't want to know. But I mean, it's fabulous. A ah, dollar fifty, maybe more than you know, four four bucks for that. A bit much, Walmart. Also, I've noticed Walmart, like their vegetables and fruits, are, currently the prices are insanely high. Walmart used to be the affordable place, and doesn't seem like it is anymore. Plus, if they're selling us lead and um, <laughs> salt and pepper shakers, what's what gives Walmart? 367 for the creepy gauze. Again, I think overpriced. I love a creepy gauze. I have a few, but that's a $1.50 item. I did buy a few of these a couple of weeks ago. It's kind of a bag of bones, literally. It's a, it's a net with, that's the price, 11.48. The price is correct. 12 piece bag of bones. Uh, there's a skull and some bones and I just throw them around the house. They're all over the floor. It looks deliciously disgusting and then we have this gorgeous haunted Reese's tree like a standee I loved it I wanted to take that home with me <laughs> obviously not for sale plushies these I think you can activate them and they move 1497 I'm not so sure though but I do think they're battery operated the spooky sign for 797 I think that was made out of wood and then 1442 for the stack of pumpkins dressed as a witch and then you can also get the individual witch dressed in orange. Doesn't she look dazzling? Love her. She's so cute. Forgot the price, but I did film her in other videos as well. And then for eight, uh, for $9.97, the round wall decor, cute, spooky. And then we finally, for $3.43, found the spot where they're selling all of these kitchen accessories. Ceramic spoon rest we've seen already. Salt and pepper shaker. Somebody told me later on at the cash register that they also had the ghost version. The ceramic spoon rest as a jack-o'-lantern. Spoiler alert, I got that one. And then the end was nigh. Oh my God, it's over again. Well, you guys, it's just it's just like that every time. Halloween, before you know it, it's over. And then we count down to the next one. Subscribe to my channel. Thumb up this video if you've enjoyed it. And stay tuned because I'm posting a video a day as we're counting down to Halloween. Halloween might be over soon, but not our fun with it. So stay tuned for my next video and never give up on Gorish Love.